What's up fabulous, Nars here, and on today's Daily Fix, Nintendo has apologized for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's technical problems and says they'll soon be fixed. Xbox Game Pass has some big new games on the way, and a former Zelda director is working on an open-world dress-up RPG. Let's get into it. Following widespread outrage from players, Nintendo has issued an apology for the rough state of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet at launch and promises the next patch will fix the game's awful technical problems. Nintendo issued the apology on its support website alongside the announcement of Software Update version 1.1.0, which aims to address player feedback and implement changes that will improve the game. It's extremely uncharacteristic of Nintendo to admit problems regarding their games, so it says a lot about how rough this year's Pokemon game launch has been. The statement reads, quote, We are aware that players may encounter issues that affect the game's performance. Our goal is always to give players a positive experience with our games, and we apologize for the inconvenience. We take the feedback from players seriously and are working on improvements to the games. According to the patch notes, the update will fix bugs involved with music play during the Elite Four and Top Champion battles, as well as other select bug fixes will be made. In addition to addressing known issues, the patch will also kick off Season 1 of Ranked Battles through the Battle Stadium. Okay, in all seriousness, this is kinda an embarrassing display of patch notes. We don't have to wait long to see how much this update actually fixes since it's meant to drop today, but I doubt it'll be the fine-tuning this game desperately needs. Adding ranked battle is great and all, and fixing a late game music glitch is a start, but this doesn't seem to touch on any of what's really frustrating players. In any case, today's patch is a start, but let's hope it's the first of many to get this game in fighting shape, because technical issues aside, it sounds like everyone's having a pretty good time with it. On brighter news, some new additions to Xbox Game Pass have been announced for the month of December, and there are some solid games to keep you busy over the holidays. On December 6th, LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga will be free to all Game Pass subscribers, and if you slept on this one earlier this year, you're in for a treat. It gives all three Star Wars trilogies the LEGO treatment, and it's playable in couch co-op, so it's a solid game to play with family members of all ages. If you want something a little more M-rated, there's Metal Hellsinger, the rhythm-based shooter which, as the title suggests, is very metal. And if you want a shooter where the guns talk to you instead of playing guitar solos, High on Life is still on track for its December 13th release. Some other new titles hitting Game Pass is the indie action RPG Eastworld, the stealthy puzzle adventure Hello Neighbor 2, the adorable alchemy simulator Potion Craft, and The Walking Dead The Final Season, the video game, not the show. To catch the full list of games and release dates, you can check out our article on IGN.com or just poke around on the Game Pass. And finally, Kentaro Tominaga, a former designer for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, is now working on an open-world dress-up RPG titled Infinity Nikki. This is the latest addition to the Love Nikki dress-up series, and the colorful, vibrant aesthetic of Infinity Nikki shows a reimagined mirror land in 3D, where the adorable Nikki changes outfits to gain different abilities and perform different tasks. Floating, fighting, catching bugs, and the game will have you collect various pieces of clothing, solve puzzles, and discover secrets in the world. You know, video game stuff, but with more dress up. This game is giving me Final Fantasy X 2 dress fear vibes, though Infinity Nikki seems more a tame version akin to Dreamlight Valley. There is no release date yet for Infinity Nikki, but it is confirmed to release for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PC, Android, and iOS devices. And that's your daily fix for today, December 1st. I can't believe it's already almost the end of the year. Can you guys believe it? Download the IGN app on all your devices, subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for everything else, just keep watching IGN. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous.